Welcome back, everybody. We have our next nominee for Women of Louisville, Sally Samblinay. Sally, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, let's see. What do you want to know? <laughs> we haven't been talking for the last like 10 minutes about you, but OK. <laughs> well, I'm the director of the Louisville Community Cupboard here in Louisville, which has been in operation since 2003. And um, I don't know do you, how far back you want to know. I grew up in I was going to say, so what are your, well, that was my next question. What are your roots? So if you want to kind of twist. Yeah, so thing. I grew up in the Louisville, born and raised here, and um, attended Fairhope Elementary. And then I went to uh, Louisville High School, which was in the old building where the green space is now. And then uh, in the meantime, they built the new building. So we transitioned then into that building where I graduated from. And um, let's see what else. I, uh, after school, I worked at Ohio Power for a little while till my uh, fiance, now husband, got drafted into the service. And so um, after a while, we moved to Germany and lived there for a couple of years before returning back and raising our family here. Everybody comes back. Yes. <laughs> Everybody thinks that I was the um, beginning of the cupboard, but I was not. My granddaughter and daughter, my daughter helped my granddaughter do a Girl Scout project for a badge. And so it started out is, as um, Friends for Food. And um, then it just snowballed from there. You know, they started looking for a place for it to be and so on and so forth. And 18 years later, here we are. So what is, what is the cupboard? Well, it's a place that helps people who are food insecure. Um, or during the winter time, it's often a place for people who become unemployed because of the weather to come and get something to help them along. So I compare it a little like um, Social Security. Like your Social Security isn't really for people to live on, it's to help them yeah. along the way. So that's kind of what we are. Oh, okay, so just kind of getting everybody along and I'm sure you guys have been really busy over the last year. Well, we have been busy, um, although the numbers are down a little bit because people are still afraid to come back. There were a lot of programs that were happening that we've had to stopped for the meantime, uh, hoping maybe as we get into summer we can open some of those back up, you know. But uh, right now it's, we're still being very, very careful, yeah. you know. Well, we, I know, we're hoping that all of this goes away and it's, you know, it's been great hearing everybody's stories. A lot of people, you know, opened up right before uh, the pandemic started and everything and it's so cool that we're able to survive and get there and you know do, we're doing the best that we we can right. i'm happy to say that we've with the help of all the volunteers we have never closed yes. but we went from inside to parking lot mm -hmm. to to one at a time to now we have like maybe a few coming in at a time doing social distances yep. and so on and so forth everything has to be pre-bagged mm -hmm. So it's different, but it's all still working. Making it through. Making it through. <laughs> That's a, you know, we, we've heard a, so many stories today, just how we've had to pivot. And it's so, it's amazing what we can all kind of change and adapt to. And, you know, it's, we can face anything, I feel like, after all. <laughs> well, I used to tell my husband that after living in the service, anything could yeah. happen to us and we can make it through because that was, that was really, um, an experience, yeah. a good experience really, but yeah. So our pantry, I'm happy to say, um, I got the Rotary uh, Citizen of the Year Award for doing that, but I wanna say it's everybody. I, I couldn't do it by myself. Yeah. yeah, I really couldn't. It's such a selfless, I mean, I just feel like all everybody here today is just doing so many selfless acts and especially just trying to get everybody through. So it's super, it's amazing that you guys have still been able to make it through and made it work. And well, it was good to see the list of all the women because <laughs> when you're busy doing your thing, you kind of forget about what the other people are doing too, you know? So this has been a nice reminder. I think this is just such a great thing to start off with trying to showcase Stark County 
and you know our town of Louisville and everything we have to offer there's just so many nooks and crannies that we don't know about I mean especially like here in this gallery like a, you know a couple people are like I've never even heard of this so it's cool to bring awareness to this awareness to the cover and awareness to all the different uh, businesses you know help them along and everything that is so true because you'd think after 18 years everyone <laughs> would know but there are many who still don't know about us and and uh you know, we'd like them to come. You know, there are no questions asked. Yes. If you think you need it, please come. Please come. Yeah. Yeah. So if you could tell your younger self one thing, what would you tell her? Well, I don't know. I, I think it's really important to volunteer. I've always done that. Yeah. I so like I need to up my volunteer. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it doesn't have to be in big things. It can be in small ways too, you know. Um, but I've always been like a candy striper or a, you know, always had something going on. So, um, I, I don't know. When my daughter was ready to give up the pantry, because her kids were getting very active in school and they were getting older and it was getting more difficult for her, um, I was getting ready to retire. So it just seemed to be the right thing, yeah. I think a big thing of what's been repeated today is it just kind of like it all falls in place of what we should be doing and you know whether or not we had to create a business or um, help with that and you know my mom she can't wait to retire and volunteer for stuff and she's like always that woman who's like always saying yes to things and I'm just like mom you need to like chill out. <laughs> That's been a really hard thing yeah. is learning to um, let other people do things for you you know. That, that, that's a hard thing to it try is. to give up. It really is. You get so busy and you think no one else can do it. But they can, you know. You just have to let them take the chance and let them do their thing. That's right. Yeah. Um, well, what's next? Like, what else is going on? Are you doing anything else? Well, let's see. Not for me. <laughs> I, I wish I could say we do a lot of traveling, but of course we haven't been able to do that. And, uh, our grandson's getting married in September, so uh, he's in the Middle East right now. So is he that's serving as well, or what is he? Yes, doing? he's he's serving. Thank your family for your service. <laughs> we we have all we have all been military. My husband, his father before him, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law. We're all um, my son-in-law's dad. We're all military. It's. We wouldn't be here without them, so we appreciate right. everything that they're doing. And, you know, I'm sure as a wife and as a mother with uh, living in the military, I mean, I can only imagine what you've gone through and, and sticking it through. And now you're here and just like, I, I just can't even imagine like the women that look up to you. It just sounds so cool. Like I could talk to you forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sally, for thank coming you. in and talking with us. I had a blast learning a little bit about you during this and before. <laughs> but um, I will see you around, hopefully. Yes, you will. <laughs> thank you. We can't wait to listen for, to the next nominee.